What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and the full Monster Hunter trailer has dropped. And since we can't do reactions to movie trailers anymore these days, uh, I thought I would react to the reactions. And look, I love Mila Jovich. She has carved out, basically, um, she is the uh, female action hero that everyone loves. I mean, quietly, she starred in all those Resident Evil films, right? That were like, uh, bill that's like a billion dollar franchise. Uh, and now she's a monster hunter, which is directed by her husband, I believe, who also directed Resident Evil, I, I think. Um, that's not really important. I love Mila. Uh, I think she's a fine actress in these action films. She plays a, a, a tough, like gruff, uh, strong female very well. Um, interesting that um, all these... Uh, media outlets who say, you know, men don't like strong female movie characters. I always seem to look, overlook Mila, who is universally loved, even though the movies she's in are largely mediocre at best. Uh, but nonetheless, the, the trailer drop today and SJWs are outraged. I'm outraged for a different reason, but let's take a look at both. By the way, I'm giving away an Xbox Series X. There's a link to the video explaining how to win in the pinned comment down below. Just make sure you check that out after this video. So the trailer dropped today, and it's not very good. Uh, I think that if we look at it, if we look at some of the screenshots from it, this is clearly a film that is for people who have never played Monster Hunter, but perhaps have heard of it. Um, much in the same way that the Resident Evil films were. I mean... It's not like they followed the video game lore very tightly. There's a few Easter eggs here and there. But for the most part, Resident Evil movies were just generic zombie flicks. Decent zombie flicks, but with a Resident Evil branding on top. And that's exactly what we see with Monster Hunter, which has 14,000 upvotes, 6,300 downvotes. Now, if we take a look at some of the, just the, you know, the idea here that we have, I mean, for whatever reason, it looks really low budget, um, but you have, you know, the U.S. military uh, passing through a portal uh, into, you know, the Monster Hunter era. Now, it's going to come down to how good uh, the CG really is here. It looks okay, but there's also, like, the classic... Uh, where like it's like T.I. and he closes his eye to look down the scope. Um, you know, there's there's good, you know, but there's also like the generic, uh, this is above my pay grade comments from the military guys, you know, all that stuff. You know, and then we have obviously the locals here. Obviously, they're going to work together. Uh, you have Mila here with the dual swords, dual wielding. That's kind of cool. You know, some of the monsters, you know, they look all right. You have, you obviously a big dragon here. Drag, dragon, dragon. I know you all make fun of how I say it. Um, you know, ultimately, it, it looks mediocre to me. A fine popcorn flick to uh, if you're going to, like, jump in a boat and then you're going to go out to, like, some deeper waters uh, and then you're going to, you know, cast your line out and you're going to reel in an AVI file. Um, or something like that, you know, something, something like that, or uh, a Divix, you know, whatever, whatever the kids are using these days. But let's look at the replies because they basically encapsulate exactly what I thought. Is nothing sacred? Guys, calm down. This is probably the next Monster Hunter game. Hunt, Monster Hunter, Modern Warfare. <laughs> Nostalgia or dedicated fan base won't carry this movie. Officially, yeah, officially above my pay grade. This isn't what I signed up for. Lines you find in every soldier movie. Want to know what line hurts the most? I don't care what these creatures are. I just want to destroy them. Yeah, that's really bizarre. I've never played Monster Hunter, but as someone who has had other things I loved butchered by Hollywood, I'd like to extend my condolences to the Monster Hunter fan base. Does this... Anyone else feel like this was made by a boomer that saw Monster Hunter, looked at some of the weapons, looked at one map, and went, I get it. Why they couldn't make a TV series like The Mandalorian or The Witcher, just a character with different adventures on each episode? That's a good question. 
Yeah, no, this is fanfic. Should have stayed on paper in the trash can. Me, who just came off Monster Hunter World binge. Thanks. I hate it. This is the most American-washed trailer I've ever seen. They could have had an awesome fantasy world like the game, but nothing says hero like the American military. Ooh, people don't like that. Who are we, Gardens of the Galaxy now? Yeah, that was in the uh, that was in the actual trailer too, which was real cringe. This should go straight to VHS to prevent anyone from watching it. I mean, didn't they learn any learn anything with Doom? I mean, really, nobody who I mean, the general audience out there isn't going to see Monster Hunter. What 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 they're hoping for is just to make their money back in China. That's literally it. That that's I mean. First Monster Hunter trailer offers a gritty take on the fantasy franchise. Mila Jovich uh, stars in the blockbuster set for December. It's not a blockbuster. We can't just call regular every regular movie a blockbuster. It's not a blockbuster. Nobody's going to be busting blocks to stand in line six feet apart to see Monster Hunter. In a new interview with Polygon conducted at the 2020 Comic-Con, director Paul Anderson professed that Monster Hunter, the new movie based on Capcom's hit fantasy series games, was a passion project. I'm approaching it not just as a filmmaker, but kind of a long-term player and fan of it. What? What? You're a long-term player of Monster Hunter, and this is what you this is what you put together? Now we have a greater taste of the approach that Resident Evil director is taking on bringing the action RPG to life. The first full trailer from Monster Hunter arrived on Wednesday, teasing the story about a band of soldiers accidentally transported to a parallel universe full of creatures who and, uh, and the warriors who hunt them. Think Stargate, but with more dragons. Monster Hunter is currently slated for release on November 30th. Not going to pay to see it. Now, it's probably going to be a fine popcorn flick. All right? Fine. But let's just see who's offended by I'm offended by the fact that it appears to be nothing like what I would have expected. Now, I still think the Resident Evil films were good. There's enough like callbacks to the fandom that make them fine. I think I paid to see a couple of them in theaters, but you know, it's like, all right, it's on, I'll watch it. But it's so formulaic, you know, zombie movies are so formulaic and The Walking Dead really ruined my appetite for them, honestly. I, I think that, you know, modern day zombie films kind of peaked with like 28 days uh, later. Um, I think that was probably my, the last time I saw a zombie flick that I, that I really liked. Um, but now let's see what the blue check marks are mad about. How are you how are you offered Monster Hunter? One of the most varied and fantastical source materials ever, and you choose to go with the American military aesthetic? I don't know where that voice came from. I just read it like that. Hollywood executives managed to turn Monster Hunter into another movie where the US military finds a portal with monsters in it. Ah uh, yes, Monster Hunter. The game with the US military in it. I'm really I'm only really in it for the monsters, but man, I wish a little more I wish it was a little more appealing. I don't know about y'all, but I'm personally kind of excited for this. Military setup is whatever. Monster Hunter doesn't exactly have a pre established story to ruin. The rest of the film seems to be in the spirit of the game. So dumb fun Paul Anderson blockbuster is fine with me. And that's what it is. It's just gonna be dumb fun. I mean, you know, I, I think there's that. But if you're mad about Hollywood turning Monster Hunter into American military propaganda, maybe give Rampage a chance. A movie where the army is taken down, Trump kid stand-ins are devoured, and where the giant gorilla is a loose metaphor for, for bad behavior by cops. Ah, yes, the worldwide phenomenon about the American military. What the F was wrong with, I don't know, just having it based on the world of Monster Hunter? People don't like it. People are very, very, very mad. Uh, and ultimately, it's just a dumb, fun popcorn uh, flick. But you could see, I would like to ask the creators one thing. Did any other plot besides the U.S. military dimensions crossover come up? Or is this the one thing Hollywood writers could come up with? You know, maybe something 
in the rich and exotic world from maybe Monster Hunter? Just wondering. And if you read the comments too, of course, you'd think a long-term fan of the series wouldn't find it necessary to shoehorn the U.S. military into a movie that didn't need it. Just make a movie set purely in the Monster Hunter world, you cowards. I mean, the, the, the monsters are good looking, I think, uh, but not enough to part with 15 bucks. Definitely not. Now, if I was a super huge fan of Monster Hunter, and I'm not saying it's bad, I own it. I played it for a little bit. I just never like really fully played it, uh, got into it. Maybe I'll play it over winter break a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is not going to end well. Stop ruining. Stop taking video game. If you just want to make like uh, Starship Troopers 2.0 or something, go ahead. But don't call it Monster Hunter. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.